I get up when you get down to this Keep cool, but still get loud to this When it drops, just can't deny The mic turned off, but I'm amplified So if Today you will need one and a half cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of warm water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So for this recipe, you don't need to use your mixer, which is pretty awesome. All you need is two bowls. So in one bowl, I'm going to combine my dry ingredients. So in the larger bowl, I'm going to combine my flour, cocoa, salt and baking soda, and then I'm also going to add my sugar. So in our smaller bowl, I'm going to combine our liquids, buttermilk, vanilla, and vegetable oil, my eggs, and my warm water. Once it's all combined, we're going to take our dries and add our wets. Just mix until it's incorporated because we don't want to over mix this. And we have our chocolate cupcake batter. For our pan, a muffin pan, give it a spray. We're going to line this with little cupcake cups. I have these fancy little flower ones. Spring. Might as well. Bottom says I love cupcakes, which is kind of stupid, but. I'm gonna use a scoop, pretty large one, some batter into each cup. Almost to the top, like three quarters of the way. So these are gonna go into a 350 degree oven and they're gonna bake for about 15 minutes. Push on the top, they'll spring right back up. Or if you use a toothpick, it'll come out clean. So your cupcakes are all done. When they're nice and puffed up, when you push down, they spring right back up. And again, with a toothpick, it'll come out clean. So you want to let these cool completely before we fill them and coat them. Um, otherwise, everything will just melt and it'll just be a mess. One and a half cups of heavy cream. One quarter cup of sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to take my heavy cream and put it in my mixing bowl with the whisk attachment. And just start to whip this on high until it starts to thicken. And then we'll add our sugar and our vanilla. Now we can add our sugar and vanilla. Then you have your whipped cream. If you let your whipped cream go for way too long, it's going to start to get grainy and then it's over whipped and it's not going to be a good consistency. Just keep an eye on it. It goes really fast when you use the mixer. I can speak English. I'm going to put my whipped cream into a piping bag with a star tip, this is tip number 841. Then just fill the piping bag. Now we can fill our cupcakes. Grab one, it's completely cooled inside and out. We're gonna push it into the middle, just enough to have it in there. Squeeze some out. And it'll start to kind of like push up a little bit around the edges. Don't do it enough for it to crack, but just enough to fill it. Just take off a little extra with your finger. One cup of heavy cream. One and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. One tablespoon of light corn syrup. So to make our ganache, I'm gonna take my heavy cream and I'm gonna put it over a medium high heat just until it comes to a simmer. Now just take your simmered heavy cream and just pour it right over your chocolate. Let it sit for maybe 10 seconds and then you can start to whisk. Just start in the middle. So finally, we can take each of our cupcakes and just dip it into the ganache. So just head down so that the whole top gets covered. Right out, kind of turn it so it doesn't leave a tip. And then we can put it down to harden. Down all the way. Up, turn it. Finally, the only thing that's missing is the signature white swirl on top. I'm not really sure how they made theirs, but I made mine with about a half a cup of confectioner's sugar, and then I just added a little water until it was like a thick consistency, kind of like a royal icing, and I put it into a piping bag, and I just cut the tip just a little bit, and now we can pipe each one.
So now we have made Hostess Cupcakes. Thanks a lot for baking with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week.